Emulating individual pieces of ZX Spectrum Next software in the C-Spect emulator is fairly straightforward. It involves right-clicking on a .nex file and associating it with C-Spect. This will run that individual piece of software in the C-Spect emulator. Emulating the entire ZX Spectrum Next operating environment, however, is much more complicated. The aim of this video is to demystify the process, provide you with all the information you need in one place, and get you up and running with an emulated ZX Spectrum Next on your computer. We'll begin by downloading the latest version of the C-Spect emulator, which can be found at daily.blogspot.com. The next step is to unzip the downloaded file into its own C-Spect folder. Now go to zxspectrumnext.online forward slash cspect and scroll down the page until you see download links for SD card images containing all the files that the ZX Spectrum needs in order to operate. Once here you can decide which size of SD card image you want to download, however they do all contain the same files. Once you have this zip file downloaded, open it up and identify the tbblue.mmc file. This is your SD card image that you're going to need. Copy this into your C-Spect folder. And there it is there. Now go back to the downloaded zip file. You need to access the ennextzx.rom and ennextmmc.rom files, and these have to be copied into the cspect folder. These two files here. The next step is to create a .bat file containing a set of instructions and parameters that cspect will apply to the emulation of the ZX Spectrum Next. We can create this .bat file using Notepad. Type these exact instructions into Notepad and save them off as a .bat file. I've called my file nextos.bat. Explanations for what these instructions mean, and a list of more instructions that you can use, are included in the readme.txt file that's included with the cspect download. Take note that the last instruction here refers to the tbblue.mmc file, which is your SD card image file that we placed in the cspect folder earlier. This tbblue SD card image, which contains all the Spectrum Next system files, is also where you will store your personal files for the ZX Spectrum Next, and you can delete files from this or add them to it using a program called imdisk. You can download this from sourceforge.net forward slash projects forward slash imdisk dash toolkit. Once installed, you will be able to right-click on the tbblue.mmc file and mount it as a virtual SD card on your computer. By opening up your mounted virtual SD card, you can now access the files on that SD card, deleting files and adding files as you see fit. When you've finished accessing your virtual SD card, it's important to remember to unmount it from your system before you try to use it in C-Spect. This might throw up a system error like this one, but if it does, just click yes. Now you can happily go back to your cspect folder and double click your .bat file which will launch cspect and run the ZX Spectrum Next operating system using all the parameters that you listed in the .bat file. Once you have a Spectrum Next emulated on your computer, it's worth pointing out that some of the features of the Next will not work in emulation, but this is as close as you can get to using a Next without actually owning a machine. A couple of extra tips before we finish. You can press Alt and Enter to toggle full screen, and you can press F3 at any time to reset back to the next OS menu. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and I hope you have an enjoyable time exploring what the ZX Spectrum Next has to offer. If you're interested in what's available, you can check out my other videos for reviews and information about some of the games and software that you can pick up.